Mantaray79 here, and welcome back to another deck profile video for Card Fight Vanguard Deer Days. Alrighty then, let's get started. Pressing the A button now. Loading game and proceeding. Here we are in the main menu, off to edit deck menu. And now in today's video, the deck profile I'm going to be making one for is a Dark States, Sylvan Thorn, Dragon Tamer, Lukie, D Booster 8. Alrighty, let's get started. Pressing the deck, selecting edit deck, and off we go. Here we are in the edit deck menu. Like I just mentioned before, the deck I'm building in today's deck profile video is a Dark States. Sylvan Thorn, Dragon Tamer, Lukie deck, made up of cards only available up until D Booster 8. Okie dokie, let's begin. Going to filter settings and to pack, show only cards from D Booster 1, Genesis of the Five Greats, D Booster 2, Rush of the Legends, D Booster 3, Advance of Intertwined Stars, D Booster 4, Awakening of Chakabarthi, D Booster 5, Triumphant Return of Brave Heroes, Festival Collection 2021, Festival Collection 2022, Pro Pack number one, D Booster 6, Blazing Dragon Reborn, D Booster 7, Raging Flame Against Emerald Storm, and D Booster 8, Minerva Rising. Applying filter, filters applied, let's get started. First, the Great 3 lineup. And here we are in the Great 3 lineup. For the Great 3s in this deck, we are playing Ride Deck, Great 3. Sylvan Thorn Dragon Tamer Lukie. Skills, first skill, action is a vanguard once per turn. Cost, counter blast one and put a card from hand into soul. If the cost is paid, choose up to three units with different grades from your soul, call them to rear guard. And if your opponent's vanguard is grade three or greater, those called units get plus 5,000 power until end of turn. Second skill, auto is a vanguard. At the end of your turn, cost, put two rear guards into soul. If the cost is paid, draw a card. So for Lukie, she's the main grade 3 to ride this deck. Her skill is the first skill. By paying the cost, you get the superior call 3 different grades from your soul to the rear guard, giving you the chance to fill out your field and formation to prepare for your upcoming attacks against your opponents. And if the secondary condition this first skill is met, you can also give all those called units a plus 5,000 power, giving you more power to work with. Any second skill at the end of your turn by paying the cost, not only do you get to build up your soul for later soul blasting and to also stock up your soul for Lokie's skill for next turn, but you can also draw more cards to restock your hand with. Alrighty, the great three, Sylvan Thorn Dragon Tamer, Lokie. We have four in the deck, one in the right deck, three in the main deck. Next up, the great three, normal order, hurry and join loyal servants. Skill, order. This or card can be played from the soul and play this if a cost of Counterblast 1. If you have a Vanguard, look in its card name. If the cost is paid, choose one of your rear guards and it gets Auto as a rear guard. When your Vanguard attacks, cost. Put this unit into your soul. If the cost is paid, choose a card with only Pale Moon for its clan and great less than or equals your Vanguard from your soul. Call to rear guard until end of turn. So for Hurry and Join Loyal Servants, a support card for the Lukie deck with its skill. When played, you can give one of your rear guards a skill, which is when the conditions of the skill are met, you pay the cost. You can switch out one of your rear guards for a Pale Moon unit from your soul, giving you another attacker or booster or a rear guard whose skill you wish to take advantage of later in the turn. And okie dokie, the Great Three, Hurry and Join Loyal Servants. We have four in the deck. Up next, the Great Three, Circulate Acrobat Ursa J. Skill Auto. When this unit is placed on rear guard from Soul by the ability of your Vanguard Lukie in his card name, cost Soul Blast one. If the cost is paid, counter charge one. So for Ursji, a support card for the Lukie deck with skill. When called from Soul by Lukie, by paying the cost, you can refund your counter blast for later skills. Affirmative. The Great Three Ursilji. We have three in the deck, and then the Great Three Normal Order Gradia Gredel. Skills, first skill, continuous, regulus piece. You may only have one regulus piece in your deck and use it a total of one time in a fight. Second skill, order. Place if you have a great three vanguard for Sona Right, and if you do not write this turn, activate for Sona Right, draw a card, all of your front units, gets plus 10,000 power this turn, and you are regarded to have Persona Road. So for Gradia Gradel, a powerful order card to play in any deck in the D standard format, with skill to second skill, 
when the conditions the skill are met, you pay this and you play this card. You can activate the Persona Ride effect, which is drawing more cards to restock your hand with, giving your entire front row, Vanguard and Rear Guard, a huge boost of power, and any skills that require you to have Persona Road that turn, this order card can substitute for that effect. And confirm the Great 3, Gradia Gradel. We have one in the deck. And of that, we just about covered the deck's Great 3 lineup. Next, let's get on to the deck's Great 2 lineup. And now for the Great 2 lineup. For the Great 2s in this deck, we are playing Ride Deck, Great 2, Sylvan Thorn Marionette, Lillian. Skills, first skill, Auto. When this unit is rolled upon by a unit with only Pale Moon for its clan, Soul Charge 1 and choose a card from Soul, put it into your hand. Second skill, Auto. When this unit is placed on the Rear Guard Circle or Guardian Circle, if you have a Vanguard of Lukie in its card name, this unit gets plus 5,000 power and plus 5,000 shield until end of turn. So for Lillian, she's the main Great 2 to ride this deck. Her skill is the first skill. When ridden the top of by a Pale Moon, you can Soul Charge 1 to build up your soul for later Soul Blasting and take any card from your soul to add to your hand to help in your later game strategy. Second skill, when called or used to guard with, when the conditions of its skill are met, Lillian then can serve as a potential 15,000 point attacker for your front row or a 10,000 point shield on her own. And alrighty, the great two, Sylvan Thorn Marriott, Lillian, we have four in the deck, one in the right deck, three in the main deck. Next up, the great two, Sylvan Thorn, Rising Dragon. Skills, first skill, auto. When this unit is placed on the rear guard circle, cost, put a card from hand into soul. If the cost is paid, draw a card. Second skill, continuous as a rear guard. During your turn, if you have a vanguard of Luke in its card name, if two or more of your units were placed on rear guard from soul this turn, this unit gets plus 10,000 power. And if four or more were placed, this unit gets plus 10,000 power. Soul Force Rising Dragon, a support card for the Lukie deck with skills the first skill. By calling this card by paying the cost, you can not only build up your soul for later soul blasting, but you can also draw more cards to restock your hand with. Second skill. When the conditions of the second skill are met, you can turn your Rising Dragon into a potential 20,000, 30,000 power attacker for your front row. And okie dokie, the great two, Sylvan Thorn Rising Dragon. We have four in the deck. And of that, we just about covered the deck's Great 2 lineup. Next, let's get on to the deck's Great 1 lineup. And now, for the Great 1 lineup. For the Great 1s in this deck, we are playing Ride Deck, Great 1, Sylvan Thorn Assistant, Irina. Skills, first skill, auto. When this unit is rolled upon by a unit with only Pale Moon for its clan, look at the top 7 cards of your deck, choose up to 1 card from among them, put into your soul, and shuffle your deck. Second skill, auto. When this unit is placed on the rear guard circle, if you have a vanguard Luki in its card name, you may soul charge one. So for Irina, she's the main great one to ride this deck. Her skill is the first skill. When ridden on top of by a pale moon, you can check the top cards of your deck to put into your soul to use, make use for her in later soul blasting. And the second skill, when called to the rear guard while the conditions of the skill are met, you can build up your soul for later soul blasting. Alright, the great one, Sylvan Thorn Assistant Irina, we have one in the right deck. Up next, the great one, Recusal Hate Dragon, Sentinel, Perfect Guard. Skills, first skill, Continuous Sentinel. You may only have up to four cards of Continuous Sentinel in the deck. Second skill, Auto. When this unit is put in the Guardian Circle, choose one of your units, and it cannot be hit until end of battle. If your hand has two or more cards, choose a card from hand and discard it. So for Recusal Hate Dragon, it's a perfect guard for the Dark Space Nation. Like any other perfect guard in the Kart Fight Vanguard training card game, it features the same skill and activation, which is when used to guard with, discard one card from hand, you can block an enemy attack. But it also features an ability unique to all perfect guards in the D standard format, which is when used to guard with, while you have less than two cards in hand, you will not have to pay the usual discard one cost, making Recusal Hate a potential no cost perfect guard in desperate last resort situations. And okie dokie, the great one, Recusal Hate Dragon, we have. Three in the deck. Up next, the Great One, Blitz Order, Elementary Sanctitude. Skills, first skill, Continuous Sentinel. You may only have up to four cards of Continuous Sentinel in the deck. Second skill, Continuous. You may only have one Elementary Sanctitude in the deck. Third skill, Order. If your opponent's Vanguard has triple drive, this ability can be played without paying the cost. Place the cost of, discard a card from hand if your Vanguard is grade three or less. If the cost is paid, choose one of your units, and it cannot be hit until end of battle. Remove this card. So for Elementary Sanitude, it's the Blitz Order version of the Perfect Guard. 
like any other perfect guard in the Card Fight Vanguard Trading Card Game, it features the same skill and activation, which is when played and by discarding one card from hand, you can block an enemy attack. But ideally, Elementaris Sanditude works best against opponents who play decks that specialize in having a Vanguard Triple Drive. For example, Great Fours, G Units, or Vanguards who have their drive checks increased by skill or card effect. Against such opponents, Elementary Sanctitude then can serve as a potential no cost perfect guard. Affirmative, the Great One, Elementary Sanctitude. We have one in the deck. Next up, the Great One, Falcate Performer. Skill Auto as a rear guard. When this unit boosts, choose up to one card from drop. If your soul does not have a card the same grade as that card, put it into your soul. So for Falcate Performer, a pretty good card to play in your Dark Sea Station decks of its skill. When boosting, when the conditions of its skill are met, you can take a card from your drop zone and place in your soul to build up your soul for later soul blasting. And confirm, the Great One, Falcate Performer, we have... Four in a deck. Next, the Great One, Sylvan Thorn, Breathing Dragon. Skill Auto. When this unit is placed on the back row rear guard from your soul, if you have a Vanguard of Lukia in its card name, cost Soul Blast 1. If the cost and paid, choose one of your vanguards and it gets continuous as a vanguard. All of your front row rear guards gets plus 5,000 power until end of turn. So for Breathing Dragon, a support card for the Lukia deck with skill. When called to the back row rear guard from the soul, when the conditions of the skill are met and you pay the cost, you can bestow your vanguard a skill which empowers your front row rear guards with more power, giving them more to work with to make it easier to pressure or finish off your opponent with. And alright, the Great One, Sylvan Thorn, Breathing Dragon, we have 4 in a deck. And of that, we just about covered the deck's Great One lineup. Next, let's get on to the Great Zero lineup. And now, for the Great Zero lineup. For the Great Zeros of this deck, we are playing Right Deck, Great Zero, Sylvan Thorn Assistant, Eonia. Skill, Auto. When this unit is rolled upon, if you went second, draw a card. So for Eonia, the starting unit of this deck, like any other starting unit in the D standard format, it features the same skill and activation, which is when written on top of, if you're the second to go in the game, you get the draw card. Alright, the Great Zero, Sylvan Thorn Assistant, Eonia. We have one in the right deck. And of that, we just about covered the deck's Great Zero lineup. Next, let's get on to the trigger lineup. And now for the trigger lineup. For the triggers of this deck, we are playing Great Zero. Hades, Dragon, DD Resentment, Gamage Held, Over Trigger, Skill, Trigger, Additional Effect, you get during your turn, all of your Vanguards gets plus 10,000 power and plus 1 critical until end of fight. So for Gamage Held, it's the Over Trigger for the Dark States Nation. Like any other Over Trigger in the Card Fight Vanguard Trading Card Game, it features the same skill and activation, which is, when revealed during a Drive Check or Damage Check, you get 100 million power and draw 1 card. But it also features an ability unique to it alone, which is when revealed during a drop check on your turn, for the remainder of the fight during your turn, your Vanguard gets a boost of plus 10,000 power and plus 1 critical. So for Gamage Health, it's an over trigger that's best revealed earlier in the game on the drive check in your turn. For the moment you drive check this card on your, on your turn, for the rest of that fight, you can have an easier time pressuring or finishing off your opponent by having a continuous plus 10,000 power and plus 1 critical for that whole fight. And already, the Great Zero, Hades, Dragon, DD, Resentment, Gamma Shell, Over Trigger, we have one in the deck. Up next, the Great Zero, Lively Breath Dragon, Critical Trigger, we have three in the deck. Next, the Great Zero, Stem Deviate Dragon, Critical Trigger, Skill, Auto as a rear guard. At the end of battle, this unit boosted, cost. Put this unit into your soul. If the cost is paid, choose one of your units, and it gets plus 2,000 power until end of turn. So for Stem Deviate, a powerful critical trigger to play in your Dark States Nations decks with skill after boosting, regardless if the attack hits or not, as long as you don't mind leaving Stem Deviate from your rear guard to your soul, not only do you get to build up your soul for later soul blasting, but you can also give the remaining attackers in your field, Vanguard Rear Guard, a little extra power to work with. Okie dokie, the Great Zero, Stem Deviate Dragon, critical trigger, we have four in a deck. Up next, the Great Zero, Roos Wild Master Riley, draw trigger. Skill, continuous as a guardian. If your opponent's vanguard is grade 3 or greater, this unit gets plus 5,000 shield. So for Riley, a powerful draw trigger to play in your Dark State Station decks, your skill, when used to guard with, while the conditions of the skill are met, you can turn Riley into a potential 10,000 point shield all on your own. Affirmative, the Great Zero. Roost Wild Master, Riley, draw trigger. We have 4 in the deck. Next up, the Great Zero. Incorruptible Holy Light, Yufia, heal trigger. 
skill auto. When this unit is placed on the guardian circle, if your opponent's attacking unit has attacked two or more times this turn, this unit gets plus 15,000 shield until end of battle. Active if this battle is second attack this turn or more. So for Yuvia, a powerful heal trigger to play in your Dark Space Nation decks if her skill, when used to guard with, while the conditions of her skill are met, Yuvia then can serve as a potential 25,000 point shield on her own. Ideally, Yuvia is a counter heal, bless, best played against opponents who play decks that specialize in restanding and attacking multiple times their units, either their vanguard or rear guard. And affirmative, the Great Zero, Incorruptible Holy Light, Yuvia heal trigger, we have two in a deck. And next, the Great Zero, Brilliant Floral Uenia, Heal Trigger, Skill Auto. When this unit is placed on the Guardian Circle, if the attacking unit's critical is 2 or greater, and its critical is increased by a non trigger effect ability, or its original critical is 2 or greater, this unit gets plus 15,000 shield until end of battle. So for Uenia, a powerful heal trigger to play in your Dark Space Nation deck if her skill, when used to guard with while the conditions of the skill are met, Uenia then can serve as a potential 25,000 point shield on her own. Ideally, Uenia is a counter heal, best played against opponents who play decks that specialize in increasing their attacking unit's critical, vanguard or rear guard by skill or card effect. Confirm the Great Zero, Brilliant Floral, Uenia, heal trigger, we have two in a deck. And of that, we just about covered the deck's trigger lineup. And here we are, in the edit deck menu. With that, the deck has been built, card effects explained. For the cards in this deck, we are playing... Four, Great Three, Sylvan Thorn Dragon Tamer, Lukie. Four, Great Three, Hurry and Join, Loyal Servants. Three, Great Three, Circulate Acrobat, G. One, Grade Three, Gradia Gredel. Four, Grade Two, Silver Thorn Rising Dragon. Four, Grade Two, Silver Thorn Marionette Lillian. Three, Grade One, Recusal Hate Dragon. One, Grade One, Elementaria Sanditude. Four, Grade One. Falcate Performer. Four, Great One, Sylvan Thorn, Breathing Dragon. One, Great One, Sylvan Thorn Assistant, Irina. One, Great Zero, Sylvan Thorn Assistant, Eonia, Starting Unit. And for the triggers in this deck, we are playing one, Gamage Held, Over Trigger. Seven, Critical triggers. Four draw triggers. And four heal triggers. Okie dokie, deck has been built, card effects explained. Now let's get on to testing out the deck. And here we are, back in the main menu. We're gonna test out the deck, so let's go to the fight menu. Don't Going to CPU fight. Selecting the deck I just showcased to you, the Dark States, Sylvan Thorn, Dragon Tamer, Lukie, D Booster 8 deck. Okie dokie, selecting deck, choosing my opponent. For the opponent, I'm gonna test it out on, I'm gonna use it against who would be a good choice. Alright, challenging Dragon Empires, Doshi Nakano, normal difficulty, and click. The battle begins, let's get started. Here we are in the fight, gonna decide who goes first, so rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Rock to scissors, I win, going first. Drawing our starting hands, I got a Persona right. draw trigger, critical triggers, two of them, and a Lillian. This is a pretty rough starting hand, holding on to the normal units, redrawing all triggers. Redraw, yes, three normal units. Going first, I draw. I ride from the right deck, Sylvan Thorn Assistant, Irina. Right deck cost, I am discarding, Sylvan Thorn Breathing Dragon. Discard and ride, Irina. End of my turn, my opponent's turn. My opponent rides, the great one, Nigel. Skill of his starting unit, he draws a card and he calls Gojo to the back row. Boosted by Gojo, Vanguard to Vanguard, 16k. No guard, gonna take it. He drive checks. Ah, 
critical triggers. You gotta be kidding me. A critical in the first attack of the turn. Ah, so lucky. One damage. Ow. Damage check. Yes, draw trigger. Lucky me. Draw one card. Draw. Power to Vanguard. Second check. Come on, something good. No trigger. Ah, not a perfect guard. Come on. And if my opponent's turn, my turn. Draw. Oh, come on, I drew a heal trigger. Ah, uh, come on. Ah, uh, whatever. Fine, I'm gonna ride from the right deck. Sylvan Thorn, Marionette, Lillian. Right deck caught, I discard the draw trigger, Riley. Discard and ride, Lillian. Skill of Irina. I can check the top cards of my deck and put into the soul. Let's check, what do I have? Yes, a pretty good draw. I am putting the order card. Hurry and join loyal servants into soul. Then I call to the rear guard, Falcon Performer, Cook. Lillian, Cook. Falcon Performer, Cook. and Breathing Dragon. Cook. Go into the battle phase. First, Breathing Dragon attacks the Vanguard, AK. The attack goes through, and boom, one damage. Damage check. Yes, no trigger, safe. Now boosted by Falcate, my Vanguard attacks the Vanguard, 18k. Falcate perform a skill, but unfortunately I choose Breathing Dragon, but nothing happens since I already have a great one in soul. Drive check. Yes, a critical trigger, lucky me. Critical to Vanguard. Power to the rear guard Lillian. Crit up. Power up. Do damage and slash. Damage, damage check first. Ah, critical trigger. Lucky him. Power up the Vanguard and critical up as well. Second check. Oh, come on. Double critical. You gotta be kidding me. He keeps getting lucky with all the triggers. I still got one more attack on the way. It can still make it. Boosted by Falker in the right. Lillian on the right attacks the Vanguard. 28k. Falcate skill. Choosing the great one breathing dragon, but nothing happens. And slash! One damage. Damage check. Yes! Front trigger! He wasted a trigger! Trigger effect wasted! And that's the end of my turn. My opponent's turn. My opponent rides the great two. Rander, Nigel skill, he soul charges a great two. He calls the rear guard. I'll lift, skill activated, he retires my, oh no, he retires my Lillian. Vanguard, Vanguard, 18K. No guard, gonna take it. He drive checks. Oh, heal trigger, come on. Again at the triggers. How does he keep getting lucky of all the triggers? Ow. Damage check. No trigger. Ah. 20k from this one. I guard with. On second thought, not gonna guard. One damage. Ow. Damage check. No, no trigger. Come on, not a normal unit. And of their turn, my turn. Stand and draw. Yes. I ride from the right deck. Sylvan Thorn Dragon Tamer Lukie. Right deck cog, I am discarding the heal trigger Yufia. Discard and ride, Lukie. Skill of Lillian. I soul blast one. Wait, I soul charge one, sorry about that. And then I take one card to add to my hand. I'm adding the great two Sylvan Thorn Marionette Lillian. Add to my hand. Then I activate Lukie skill. Counter blast one. And place a card into the soul. I'm putting Rising Dragon into the soul. Into soul. And then call up to three different grades. I'm calling, I only have two slots, so only calling two rear guards. I am calling Rising Dragon and Breathing Dragon. Rising to the front, Breathing to the back. Call. Rising skill plus 10,000 power. Wait, hold on, I gotta add a card to the soul. I am putting. Lillian the soul and draw. Come on, draw something good. Oh, come on, a critical, uh, so unlucky. Then breathing skill, I soul blast one. I soul blast the great two Lillian, soul blast and give plus 5,000 power to my entire front row. 
from my soul, I am going to activate the order card. Hurry and join loyal servants. Counterblast one, counterblast and giving a rear guard a skill. I give it to the front row breathing dragon. That ought to do it to the battle phase. First, my breathing dragon unboosted attacks the vanguard 13k. He tackles through and boom, one damage. Damage check. Yes, no trigger, perfect guard. One less card to worry about. Now, boosted by Falcate Performer, Lukie attacks the Vanguard, 21k. Skill of Breathing Dragon, that re received a skill from the Order card. I move it to the Soul and replace it with a poor Pale Moon unit. Superior called the front row. Irina. Superior call. Irina skill, Soul Charge 1. And... Soul Charge! Yes! I Soul Charge the Order card! Lucky me! And then I'm activating... Falcate skill! I can take a card from the drop and put it into Soul. Let's see. In my Soul, I have... 0, 1, and 3. Gotta add a Great 2 unit. I'm adding the Great 2. Lillian to the Soul. He double guards. Throw it 4DK to the pass. First check. No trigger, Rising Dragon. Second check. Yes! Critical trigger! Just what I needed! I give all effects to... Rising Dragon. Critical up and power up! The attack fails, but now, first boosted by Breathing Dragon, my rear guard, Irina, attacks the rear guard, Alwish. 21k to 10k. The attack goes through, and slash! One less rear guard to worry about. Now the final attack of the turn, boosted by Performer. Rising Dragon attacks the Vanguard, 43k, two criticals. Falcate skill. In my soul, I have all four grades, so I can't add any anything to the soul, just choosing a card. Ah, perfect guard, he had one in hand. He perfect guards, discard the cost, a grade three burial dignil, the attack fails. But now, I'm activating uh, Luke's yeah. skill, and the turn, I move two cards into soul. I move Rising Dragon, and in my soul, I have Breathing Dragon already, so moving the Great One Irina into the soul. Into soul, draw! Yes, perfect guard, just what I needed! He rides the Great Three, Heavy Artillery of Dust Storm, Eugene! Skill of the Great Two, Randor. And he calls the Rear Guard. Scout Terra, Vanguard skill, resting two rear guards, he retires my back row. Breathing Dragon, powered Vanguard, and going to the battle phase. Vanguard to Vanguard, 31 k 23k. I can't take any risk, perfect guard. For the perfect guard cost, I am discarding. The critical trigger, Lively Breath Dragon. Perfect guard activated. First check. No trigger, great one, safe. Second check. Yes! Front trigger! He wasted a trigger! Trigger effects wasted and... ka -ching! Safe! That's the end of my opponent's turn! My turn! Stand and draw! Oh! You gotta be kidding me! My over trigger! Ah! Whatever, I think I can still win the game here. It's time to Persona Ride! Let's go! Silverthorn Dragon Tamer, Luke! Persona Ride! Power up and draw! I drew a Lillian, not a bad draw. Activating my Vanguard Luke skill. Counter Blast 1. Place a card from hand into soul. I'm putting Rising Dragon into soul. And Superior call up to three cards of three different grades. I call Rising Dragon, Breathing Dragon, and Irina. Oops, hold on. I can only call one of each grade. Sorry about that. Calling. I have three empty slots, two great ones in the back row, so calling Rising Dragon, then calling Irina and Lukie. Call! Wait, hold on, no, not Irina. Okay, I know what I, got, I know what I gotta do. Calling Rising Dragon, Breathing Dragon, and Lukie. Call! Rising Dragon, Breathing Dragon, Lukie. Call! Power up! 
Activating Grieving Dragon skill. Soul Blast 1. I'm Soul Blasting. The Great 1. Nope, the Great 2. Lillian. Soul Blast. Power up to the front row. Rear guards. Not gonna activate my dragon skill. And for my soul, I activate the order cart. Hurry and join loyal servants. Counter blast one. Giving a rear guard a skill. I get the skill two, the rear guard Luke. That ought to be enough. Now going to the battle phase. First, my rear guard Luke attacks the vanguard. 33k. The attack goes through and slash! One damage! Damage check! Uh, critical trigger lucky! Then boosted by Falk Performer, Vanguard to Vanguard, 31k! Skill provided by the order cart, lucky in the rear guard goes to the soul! Superior call in its place! The Great Two, Silver and Thorn, Rising Dragon, call! Rising Dragon skill, plus power! Falcon skill! In my soul, I have Great Zero, One and Three, adding a Great Two into the soul, Lillian, and Rising Dragon, not activating its skill. Keep Guards by front, trigger, 43k, two to pass, first check! No trigger! Second check! Yes, a draw trigger! Draw a card! Power 2, the left side rising dragon! The attack fails, but no, but I still got two more attacks in the way. Boosted by breathing dragon, rising dragon in the left attacks the vanguard, 68,000 power! He guards a perfect guard, oh no! Perfect guard pause, he's discarding. The great one, Idris. The attack may have failed, but I got one more attack on the way. Boosted by Falcon Performer, Rising Dragon on the right, attacks the Vanguard, 58,000 power! Skill of Falcon, but no nothing can be added to the soul, just selecting cart. Ugh, not another perfect guard! Perfect guard cost, nothing ha- no cost, and my attacks are blocked! Ugh, he survived that turn! But it's not too bad, he has zero cards in hand, I still have a shot! Luke skill, moving two cards into soul! I move... hmm... I move Breathing Dragon and s and Rising Dragon into Soul. Draw a card. Draw. A critical trigger. Come on. Activating his Eugene skill. He rests and retire my front row Rising Dragon. Power to Vanguard. Vanguard 23k. I can't take any chances. I guard with the Over Trigger Gamma Shell. Over Trigger to pass. First check. No trigger, try bash, safe, and second check. No trigger, safe. The attack is blocked. Kachink! End of my opponent's turn, my turn. Stand and draw! It's time to Persona Ride! Sylvan Thorn Dragon Tamer, Lukie! Persona Ride, Lukie! Power up and draw! Yes, perfect guard! I called the front row. Ursilji! Cool. Then I call Lillian! Cool. Lillian skill plus 5,000 power to herself! Power up! Then I call Stem Deviant Dragon to the rear guard! Call! Cool. That's enough for my main phase to the battle phase! Boosted by Falcate Performer! Vanguard to Vanguard, 31,000 power! Falcate skill, but I already have all. The grades available in the soul, so just selecting a cart, nothing happens. He double guards, 33k, one trigger to pass. Twin drop, first check. No trigger, Gradiac Gradel for Soul to Ride card, not a bad charge. Second check. Yes, a draw trigger! Giving all effects to the Vanguard. The attack goes through, draw! And. Slash! Damage check! Yes, critical trigger, six damage, he cannot heal! Trigger effects wasted. And game over! Winner of me! Ugh. That was a pretty pretty good fight. Despite some really good luck from my opponent's side and the triggers early in the game, I managed to get the cards I need to make this deck work, so 
I got win, attack 60,000 more power, guard up 60,000 more shield, perfect guard it, opponent double critical, did a persona right, eight turns passed, did a superior call, retired five or more opposing units, and drew three or more times in one turn. I got 2950 VP, total 295,575 VP. Pressing A to go next, leaving the fight and returning to the fight menu. Here we are in the fight menu, leaving fight menu, going back to main menu. Back at the main menu, off to edit tech menu. And with that, the deck's been built, card effect explained, and I just finished testing the deck out in front of you, so first I want to say is, thank you to the viewers for watching today's video, and to please stay tuned for more videos I plan to upload again in the near future. I also hope you all show support by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my videos and channel. And with that, I say, Goodbye, and see you all soon!